Scandinavian Bob here, hi. Welcome to part 2 of the dopamine series. Let's continue where we left off. How do you make the positive benefits stick around after you have done a dopamine fast? Well, there are a few steps you need to take, so make sure to stay with me to the end of this video. And if you do not know what I'm talking about now, then after this video you need to go watch the introduction video and part 1 as well in order to get a good understanding. I link to both of them under this video. Okay, so you can't just keep blasting your brain's reward system like you do in your normal life if you want to keep all the benefits from your dopamine mean fast. So you will have to make some sacrifices. And here are a few helpful tips for you. Tip number one, enable grayscale mode on your phone. This is something you can do on both Android or your iPhone and it really helps. Turning your phone to grayscale mode means that everything you see on your phone will lose vivid colors. All the apps lose their color, all the videos you watch are grayscale, and even more important, all the bright red notifications lose their biggest dopamine spiking effect. Now the great thing about this is you can still use your phone like normal, but since the vivid colors now are gone, all those hundreds of dopamine hits you normally get from it every single day becomes milder. To put your phone in grayscale mode, just search for enable grayscale mode on Google or YouTube. It's pretty easy to do and you don't need to download an app in order to do so. Tip number two. Operation Blackout. Have you heard about intermittent fasting when it comes to food? Well, one way of doing that is by eating your last meal of the day a bit earlier and then pushing your first meal of the day a bit later. For example, you stop eating at 7 p.m. and then you have your first meal the next day at 11. This would give you a 16-hour fast every day and comes with a lot of health benefits. And guess what? You can use this for dopamine too. Most nights I turn off my internet and my phone at 7 p.m. I call it Operation Blackout. And during Operation Blackout I'm trying to be as mindful as possible reading books, writing, I can even watch a movie on TV as long as I'm not connected to the internet. Now it does not have to be 7 p.m. You can choose what time suits you best. But at the very least try to make room for two hours without any phone or internet at all before you go to bed. You do not need to be connected to the world 24 hours a day. The world is not going to end if you go dark for two hours. Three hours is even better but hey do what you can. And then in the morning try not to rush to your phone as soon as you wake up. Keep the mobile data off while you prepare for your day. Personally I do my morning routine first before I turn it on and sometimes I even keep it off until about 10. This has helped me tremendously with my brain health. It is like a mini dopamine fast every single day and it helps me keep my brain super focused and sharp. So I highly, highly recommend you try Operation Blackout. Just do a bit of experimenting to find a time frame that is suitable for you. Tip number three, meditation. Okay, so if you have not yet made meditation a daily habit, it is now time to do so. Just 10 minutes a day will be extremely helpful. Think about it. If you put all the high stimulation stuff on this side, then what would be something you could do that would be the absolute opposite of that? Well, it would be something you do for a while that means zero stimulation. Something that even slows down your thoughts a bit. Kind of like, <laughs> well, meditating. Yes, start meditating 10 minutes a day as it will give you significant brain benefits. I'm telling you, there are a lot of studies on how wonderful meditation is for the brain and it will really help you keep your dopamine system functioning on a high 
level. Okay, and so of course there are other things you can do to help you as well. You know all the normal healthy stuff like physical exercise, limiting junk food and cut down a bit on the high stimulating video games. So keep those in mind as well. But the three tips I shared today really are the big ones and if you make sure to do them most days of the week, you will have more drive, pleasure and happiness in your life as your dopamine system will be functioning like it should. Alright, I hope you have enjoyed the dopamine series and if I ever helped you in some way and you feel that you'd like to help me by giving a little something in return, well then you can always buy me a cup of coffee. It's a one-time fee and a 100% secure donation system, so if you'd like to support my work you can find a link to it under this video. And if you choose to buy me a cup of coffee <laughs> thank you so much every single cup of coffee really helps me grow my channel all right this is scandinavian bob signing out for today consider subscribing for more helpful videos and as always i wish you all the best in your journey to become the strongest version of yourself and remember as winston churchill used to say if you're going through hell keep going